Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Eldrind, the first boss, and today we're gonna do a dodge effect similar to the one from Castlevania Symphony of the Night when Alucard is dodging. And so we're gonna continue on the project we made uh, last time to make the character red when uh, walking into an enemy. So we're gonna use the same shader but just color the character one blue uh, during the dodge, or not the character but the duplicates of the character. So let's get right into it. So first go into the project settings and add a new button uh, to the input map. So let's call this one dodge and plus here to add a key. Let's use the C key on the keyboard and we can also add a joystick uh, button for this. Let's go with Sony circle. That's fine. And now we're gonna dive directly into the character here, the player. And we're gonna add a bunch of variables here first. So let's add an export of our dodge speed. This is how fast we should move when dodging. And if we save now, you can see the um, variable has been added to the inspector, and you can just change this from the editor when you're the editing mode but that's really useful in case you're not happy with this uh, number down here um, up here <laughs> sorry um, or dodge time so this is how long we're going to dodge let's go with 0.7 uh, or a maybe it's too much 0.5 so half a second dodge time so we're gonna be invulnerable for that and we're gonna do a or current dodge time no zero and we're gonna do a export dodge duplicate time that one's gonna be how often we create the duplicates for our character we're gonna do it 0 0.05 very often current dodge duplicate time Set that to zero and we're gonna add a last export variable let's call it duplicate lifetime this is how long the life of the duplicate will be is dodging okay so let's head down to the physics code here and uh, during the control of the character we want to make sure we're not dodging. If is dodging, and if is not dodging, then we allow control. However, else, if is dodging, then we want to lerp the velocity to zero. Velocity. 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 0.0.1 else to the previous code and we're gonna add some new code here to see if it's dodging but if we're dodging we're gonna do the increase the timers plus equals delta current dodge duplicate time plus equals delta and if the first one current dodge time Times out, dodge time. Then we want to set them back to zero, both of them. And we want to set the is dodging to false. And if current dodge duplicate time, times out. And we want to set the current dodge duplicate to zero and create a duplicate. So this is a function we're gonna create later. So we're just gonna leave it like that for now. If is dodging is false and input is action just pressed the dodge button. So you can just enter enter there. Really nice autocomplete. Then we're gonna set each dodging to true. And if our sprite 
2D, scale, S1. Then we're gonna dodge to the left. Velocity, X equals minus dodge speed. Else, we're gonna dodge to the right. Because we're facing left, equals dodge speed. And we're gonna do a create duplicate. Uh, here, so it creates a duplicate. Now we're done with the physics function here. We can create a new function called create duplicate. And in this duplicate function, we're gonna do our duplicate equals so we're gonna make a duplicate of the sprite 2D. Duplicate. And for the duplicate, we wanna duplicate its material. Because if you don't do this, then you'll be changing the material for the original character as well. And we do not want to do that. We only wanna change the material, change the parameters for the uh, duplicate. And we got the code from the take damage down here. We're just gonna use the same. Do it like that. So we're gonna do it for RGB as well. R G B uh, mixed color. And we're gonna set something like zero for R, zero for green, and we need it to be very blue. So let's go with something like that. And if... Oh, we're gonna do a uh, duplicate position Y to make sure it's the same position as our character. Increase it by position Y. If sprite 2D dot scale X equals minus one, we're gonna move the position X equals position X of the character minus the duplicate position. Else, whoops, what happened there? There we go. Else, we're gonna set, oh, else, cool on. Duplicate position X2 plus equals the position of this character. And uh, we're gonna set it at a less set index to make sure it's uh, behind the character. And we're gonna add it to the, the node above the player. So get parent, add child, the duplicate. And we're gonna remove the duplicate instantly. Or not instantly, but after a short time. Great timer. And we have the duplicate lifetime. I'm out. When that time's out, we're gonna do a duplicate Q3. So that's pretty much all the code for the uh, character here. But we need to ensure the tile map is behind. So set index minus one or minus two or something uh, even less than that because the player character is at a set index of zero. So that's gonna probably work. Let's see here. Uh, I think I did something wrong. Oops. Let's see here. Is dodging false? Well, not is dodging. Else is dodging, is dodging. Oh, uh, on line 66, I forgot the colon. Let's fix that. There we go, we got a dodge effect. However, if we dodge into the enemy, we're gonna take damage. So we're gonna be invulnerable during the dodge time. Let's fix that. Um, into take damage function is dodging. And so while not is dodging and the timer damage is stopped, then we can take damage, else we're just gonna ignore that. So there we go. So now we can dodge past the enemy. And one thing you can notice, I can actually walk inside the enemy, but if I walk outside and walk into him again, I'm gonna take damage. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, that's a little 
wrong we did the last time we didn't fix so you can take damage from the enemy uh, constantly only when you're wandering in inside so we're gonna add a party and the physics product process and uh, we're gonna do a bar bodies equals deal damage area um yeah overlapping bodies so this gets our us the bodies which are above damage area if name in body and what the name is player then we're gonna do body take damage Ah, oh, the same we do down here. Actually gonna do the same down here as well. So yeah, this should fix it. So now we can take damage after we've dodged inside the enemy. But if we dodge past him, it's okay. Very nice. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the project for this will be down below in the comments. And if you like, please subscribe. Uh, if you want more go to tutorials, I'll be uh, next time. I'll probably uh, put out a uh, devlog for um, the game scout keys. And after that, if I learn something new, I will share it with you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Ciao.